Hey everybody. So I want to make a video that kind of outlines some of the differences between a chassis cab F450 and a pickup truck F450 like I own. There's a lot of uh, speculation out there as to why Ford labels the F450 pickup truck as a class 3 vehicle when a lot of people feel that because it's no longer an F350 that it has to be a medium duty or a class 4 vehicle. And that's just not the case. You know, it really all just comes down to marketing. Ford chose to label the F450 as such because they wanted to market a class 3 light duty pickup truck to people who wanted a truck with a bit more capability than an F350, but at the same time they wanted essentially the biggest, baddest dually that you could buy without uh, needing a commercial driver's license or perhaps commercial insurance or uh, or even in some cases not even being able to own a vehicle if it's categorized as a class 4. So Ford did many things to keep the F450 clearly in the class 3 category. So let's point out some of the differences starting with the axle or the rear axle on both trucks. The chassis cab version comes with a 488 geared Dana S130 axle whereas the pickup truck version comes with a 430 geared Dana S130 rear axle. These are both great axles. Primarily the only difference is that the 488 will give you more um, I guess torque, more pulling power from a lower end perspective whereas the 430 axle is going to also give you excellent pulling power as you can tell by the numbers that the truck puts out but it also gives you a bit more acceleration and better performance as well. Another thing you'll notice is the difference in the rear leaf spring pack on both trucks. The F450 pickup truck is going to have three leaf springs with one overload, whereas the F450 chassis cab is going to have nine or ten much thinner leaf springs that are stacked in a different configuration. And this is because typically your F450 chassis cab truck is going to be set up to haul um, much heavier weight over the rear axle and not move as much when you go over bumps or other type of imperfections in the road. Oftentimes, too, if you have a flatbed that's over the back of the axle, like with uh, tow trucks and utility beds, the load could cause the back springs on a pickup truck to bounce um, rather aggressively whereas on a chassis cab truck you don't want that same articulation. With a chassis cab truck you know you definitely want the ride to be more planted but again you do sacrifice comfort um, but in the case of vehicles like emergency response vehicles, ambulances and uh, even delivery vehicles you don't want that bouncing jarring ride that you would get from a softer spring pack that would be on the F450 pickup truck. There are a few similarities between the two trucks, um, and that would be the front frame section. So the front frame section of an F450 chassis cab and the F450 pickup truck are identical. Actually, uh, the F450 pickup also shares the same front section as the F550 chassis cab vehicle. It's a reinforced, thicker, and a differently configured front end section because it supports much heavier suspension hardware, as well as much heavier duty steering components. Now something that's completely unique to the chassis cab version that you cannot get on the pickup truck version is a reinforced section of framing. If you purchase an, a long wheelbase version of the F450 chassis cab or a 550 chassis cab, it's going to automatically be specced out with a reinforced C-channel section that runs from the front of the cab all the way back to about where the, uh, the rear axle is. And this section of quarter inch steel is primarily used to help reinforce the center portion of the truck when you have a flat bed or some type of a large utility bed where the weight in the back of the truck could be balanced more centrally between the front and rear axle. And it again just acts as more of a reinforcement. If you have an F450 pickup, the maximum payload capacity of that truck um, should never put enough stress on that area of the truck to cause any type of frame damage. Only when you go to an F450 or F550 where you may be loading vehicles on the back of the truck or 
I mean, it may be used to haul around, you know, aggregate or concrete, things of that nature is where you might have to worry about that. And that's why they put that reinforcement there. So this kind of brings me to my last topic, which is performance and capabilities. The 6.7 liter diesel engine that comes in the chassis cab version of the 450 and 550 it has actually been derated from the 440 horsepower and 860 pound-feet of torque 6.7 liter that comes in the pickup truck version of the 450 to 300 horsepower and 660 pound-feet of torque in the chassis cab trucks. And part of this logic is that in a commercial vehicle you really don't need the acceleration or the performance that people expect when buying high-end uh, personal diesel pickup trucks. And it also takes into account that drivers of most commercial vehicles don't treat them as well, and it can help prolong the life of the engine by not putting it under so much horsepower and stress. So finally, when it comes down to fifth wheel towing capabilities, conventional towing, as well as payload capacities, the numbers are, again, drastically different between a pickup truck and a chassis cab. The F450 pickup truck, like I have, has a 31,200 pound maximum fifth wheel towing capacity, whereas both the 450 and the 550 chassis cabs are far lower than that. The 450 is at 21,600 pounds and the 550 is at 26,600 pounds. Whereas the F450 pickup truck is designed to pull more weight, it also means that that weight must be more evenly distributed over the trailer with less of the tongue weight actually over the axle of the truck as in the case of this picture where this truck's actually hauling almost exactly 31,000 pounds. Now keep in mind where both the chassis cab trucks may not be able to haul as large of a trailer, their payload capacities are far greater than the F450 pickup. My pickup truck has a maximum payload of, of about 6,700 pounds, whereas the 450 is 9,945 pounds and the 550 is 12,660 pounds. So the biggest difference there is max payload. So that kind of brings us full circle. So if you look at the main differences in the chassis cab versus a pickup truck, the whole configuration of the truck suspension from the C-channel rails, their width, their ability to be upfitted, as well as the rear leaf springs and the axle ratio all account for why the truck is so different. Thank you everybody for watching the video. I hope for those of you who wanted to know what the differences were, this helped clarify those for you. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Have a great evening.